All right, good evening. Uh, Adventures of Casey here. So tonight we're gonna work on a little bit of a little project that we found. Uh, we found this on the interwebs. I'm not gonna take credit for this design or this idea, it wasn't mine. Um, and if it works, well, you'll see it. And if it doesn't work, you'll never see this footage. So it really doesn't matter. But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about portable propane powered fire pits. Now we've been camping in campgrounds where for whatever reason out here, especially in Califakistan, we have um, regulations against having campfires, even in an actual designated, ran by the National Forest Service, fire ring provided, picnic table out front, pay $20 to stay there a night, campgrounds. They still won't let you have a damn campfire because I don't know. Um, Fight, they say fire danger, they're short staff, whatever. I personally think that the uh, hose draggers are just kind of fucking lazy and uh, don't feel like getting out and fucking working. And, uh, you know, if you just hammer the dicks of whoever fucked this shit up to the wall every fucking time they fuck shit up, then maybe things would be a little bit better because I know that other states don't have uh, the same issue. But uh, I digress. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and build this little propane fire pit. And the key element here in California is to make sure that the fire can be turned off immediately. Um, you know, when they have those same restrictions, you can't even run a charcoal barbecue. Um, so which regulates us cooking on the gas stove, which we would rather not because I mean, come on, when you're camping, the whole idea is to be out there and cook over fire, like man shit, primitive, right? You know, enjoy nature, um, not all this new age, newfangled stuff. Um, so anyway, uh, that's where we're at. We're going to try and build this little portable kit for well under the price of uh, the ones that you find commercially. All the commercial ones are, you know, shit. I think the cheapest ones I've seen are like 80, 90 bucks. And uh, uh, we are into this one right now about $35, $40 in parts, maybe. I don't know. Less than that. I'll add it up. And uh, we'll put some links to the parts that we bought. Um, Amazon, Harbor Freight and uh, some stuff laying around the shop here. So anyway, stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna start off with one standard 50 cal can size ammo can. Uh, we bought this one at Harbor Freight, whatever the hell the going rate is right now. You need yourself a good propane burner. This is an Amazon special. You need a hose. Again, another Amazon special. And I'll try and put links to this stuff in my videos or part numbers uh, so that we can figure that out. And lastly, not a necessity, but uh, if you want to be able to run this thing off of one pound bottles and the five pound tank or the big uh, five gallon or 20 pound tanks, you're going to need one of these little adapter things. And uh, we had one laying around from another kit. Uh, but they're not that expensive either. So again, we'll add all that in the price list and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so our hose came with this little guy uh, to fit into the adapter. And we just went ahead and put some yellow uh, tape on it. That's for natural gas or propane. And it's going to hook the hose to our burner. And what we did is we went ahead and we just drilled a, uh, wasn't three sixteenths or three eighths. Hold on. I'll find the size. It was three eighths plus one. It was whatever a 64th of an inch over three eighths was. That's what we needed. But the bottom line is measure this fucking thing with some goddamn calipers. Fucking drill the hole the size you need and you'll be good to go. Okay. So this propane burner that we bought, right? This is it. This is cast. It is actually designed to go into, I don't know, like a turkey fryer or, you know, something for canning, some kind of outdoor cooker. We're not using it for that. Go figure. We fuck something up and, and do it different. Anyway, it has this adjustment on it, which I already tightened it down. So let me loosen it up so you guys can see what we're doing. So this here rotates and turns. So that's wide open. This is what you would call a choke. And then that closes it. Now, if you're running something normal, like we're gonna cook on it, 
and you need a solid blue flame because that's obviously the most efficient, right? Is blue flame well, when we're dealing with propane. You're gonna adjust this to get that, but we want yellow flame on this because we wanna simulate a campfire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it all the way closed. And this one actually has two little screws here. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tighten those down so that it doesn't adjust once we have this thing put together. And that should give us good solid yellow flame which isn't good for cooking and really isn't that efficient, but it's gonna give us the ambiance that we're after. All right, so what we did is we went ahead, we set this in, it has a little screw down here, presumably to attach it to something. Um, and then we put it into the can, we kind of half-ass marked it, we measured the diameter here, tried to find the center of the hole. The whole idea is to get this to sit level in the bottom of the can, not tilt it up or tilt it down to put stress on the other end of our little adapter that came with the hose, which is going to connect into that hole. These two together are gonna to sandwich to the ammo can. Now, because uh, this is definitely not my first whiskey tonight, and ain't my fifth either, um, we're a little bit off on that hole. So all we did, because we aired on the side of caution and, and drilled our hole too low into our ammo can, is uh, we just took a grinder and couple runs and finally got that so here we go here's our ammo can there's the end there's our 3 8 hole that is actually 1 64th of an inch bigger than the 3 8 bit but i can't do the math right now and i ain't gonna look it up so you guys can figure it out or like i said measure this so time to put this thing together okay so here we go we got that thing in there it's nice and tight. It's basically only held on with this little nipple. And when we're done, this whole can is going to go ahead and store with the can closed, be able to use the lid. And the only thing sticking on the outside is that. Uh, I will probably try and find some kind of plastic cover just to make sure it maintains, you know, cleanliness right around the back of the truck. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's uh, time to get this thing ready for the next step. Okay, after we uh, put that thing together, now it's time to go ahead and fill it. Uh, they say lava rock, you can use that like you used to see in grandpa's fucking uh, gas grill from, I don't know, 19 fucking 70 goddamn three or some bullshit. Um, I haven't fucking used a gas charcoal gr or gas barbecue grill in forever. Um, uh, River rock is supposed to be probably one of the better ones. Uh, from what I've been able to read, the denser the material, the better the flame spread you're going to get. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to fill the can to where you've actually covered the burner, but at the same note, leave enough room because when we're done, our whole intent is to be able to unscrew this hose and store it inside the can so that it takes up less space and have everything all in one very small compact package. So what I'm actually using is I have some of this fire glass and uh, this is left over from another project at the house. Um, but you know what, right now it's free, so I don't know what it costs. I could go out and dig up a bunch of rocks out of their yard. Um, I'm fucking lazy, so we're gonna dump the fire glass in. Okay, so here is our ammo can. It's got our fire glass in it, our hose fits. Our little adapter we're gonna use fits. We're gonna go ahead and put this lid on. I'm gonna try and do it one-handed, because I'm also filming. And, oh, there's our ammo can. So like I said, we're gonna try and get a cover for that, uh, but this is gonna be how it travels. So now it's time to see if this motherfucker works or if I send myself into orbit. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. This is our fire pit. It's all packed up, ready to go, hangs out in the truck. Time to go ahead and get this thing set up. So let's go ahead and we'll open it up. Move the lid off of it. Our hose and everything is stored in there. Wrench stores in there. Make that thing nice and snug. Set it all down. 
again, our big thing is we wanted to be able to use this with our little one pump bottles. Um, if you remove this adapter from here, you can just go ahead and use the regular ones or like the, the standard 20 gallon big barbecue tanks or you know any other bulk tank that you want to use. So we're gonna screw that in, set that off to the side, grab our lighter. And voila, we got ourselves a fire pit. So we might be able to adjust a little bit and get it more in the center of the can. I'm not really sure why it's on the end there, but we have something that we could use. And then when it's time to go done, we just go ahead and turn our regular back off. We're gonna wait for it to burn out. Or we can just put the lid back on it. propane burn off I'm gonna guess probably burning off is probably our best bet when we do this but if you really had to you could shut that lid and it would be fine and then yeah there it is then you could just disconnect everything put it all back in put it back in the truck lids on it we go ahead and pick it up so there you go Well, okay, that little experiment worked and uh, worked great with the little one pound cans if that's all we want to set out. And uh, we actually can just remove that adapter right quick. Um, wife just informed me that she had a bunch of extra Harbor Freight tools laying around. So I'm just gonna throw a, a three quarter inch uh, wrench in, which is what we use to tighten uh, the hose to this socket. And I'll just leave it in the box. There's plenty of room for it. Uh, as you can see, here we go, we'll open it back up. The regulator, the adapter, fire glass, the burner, everything is self-contained. Uh, we can go ahead and just turn that thing off. If we don't want to wait for it for any reason, we can just go ahead and shut the damn lid. And boom, fire is out. And uh, we're set. At that point, the lid was actually still cool enough to be able to lift up and out of there. But uh, if you ran it for an extended time, I, I would probably be a little bit careful. Um, but yeah, we're, we're pretty uh, impressed with this little thing, especially for the uh, money we had into it. We are, including filming this while we made it, probably 30 minutes into this project. And uh, that's a pretty, pretty easy uh, thing to go with. So uh, like I said, if there's anything in this video, you guys have questions, comments, bitches, moans, gripes, complaints, concerns, um, or just general fuck yous for our channel. Uh, just drop something down there in the comments if you want to see more of the bullshit that we put out. And 88% uh, of it is just straight bullshit. Uh, then go ahead and subscribe and you'll get notified when the new videos roll in. Uh, until then, uh, you know what? Adventure's the case here. Just get out there and adventure. Spend the time outdoors. Get outside.